Good day, everyone. For this day, we are going to discuss about the learning disabilities and its treatment. We're in very common as our teachers na mga encounter na mga bata na merong disabilities in learning. Because, and let us know kung paano natin ito ma-handle or um, how are we going to treat these disabilities. So we have our objectives. We're in... At the end of this lesson, you're expected to first understand the different learning disabilities and its treatment. Second, enumerate different learning disabilities and its treatment. And lastly, to create or conceptualize your strategies in handling students with learning disabilities. So first, we have the dyslexia. When we say dyslexia, it's about the disability in or trouble and language-based learning disability that affects the processing of spoken and written of the of the child or student. Nahirapan siya mag-create ng kanyang word, magbasa. Nahirapan siyang basahin ng isang word or break down ng mga words. So, pag sinabing trouble in breaking down words, we have here the phonological dyslexia. It's about the trouble in um, pronouncing or breaking down words. For example, magbabasa siya ng, ng understand. So, nahirapan siyang basahin yung an, yung there's, yung stand, at nahirapan siya combine yun into a one word. So, we have the visual dyslexia. Pag sabi yung visual, nahirapan silang matandaan yung kung ano itsura ng isang word. So, yung isang word na yun, hindi nila mabasa ng maayos because iba yung kanilang pagkakabasa. For example, yung boy naging girl, yung man naging man. Dahil iba nga yung kanilang ang function ng kanilang brain. Mas, mas, medyo nadidilig sila. So, next we have the rapid naming dyslexia. Pag sinabi naman yung rapid naming dyslexia, it's about the trouble in naming several letters. It's like the B, C, D, and numbers in a row. One, two, three, nahirapan po sila niya. Second, we have the ADHD, which is very common. Kung saan very active or may hyperactivity or impulsiveness kung saan bata na hindi sila mapakali, hindi sila makafocus sa isang sa kanilang ginagawa. Gusto nilang um, nag-ikot-ikot sila lagi, nagsigaw sila lagi. So that is ADHD. They have a short attention span and very, and get instructed easily. And they're also struggling with following instruction. Hindi mo sila mapupo ng matagal because gusto nila mag, mag laro And lastly, forgetting or losing things. Na madali sila makalimot at madali nila mawalang isang Bagay. So third, we have the dyscalculia. So when we say dyscalculia about the struggle about mathematical concept, nirapan silang um, identify yung value ng isang ng pera or ng, or ng number. It's like the 5 peso, 20 pesos. So nirapan po sila dyan kung ilang value, yung time. And then they are struggle and also have struggle and remember basic math facts, like the one, two, three. Fourth, we have the dysgraphia. When we say dysgraphia naman, it's about their physical act or writing, of writing. Kung saan di sila makahawak ng maayos ng kanilang pencil. So, hindi sila makapagsulat, hindi sila makapagtrace, hindi sila makapagdraw. That is dysgraphia. This, medyo nahihirapan silang gawin, gamitin yung kanilang mga kamay or yung physical body nila sa paggawa ng mga, ng sa pag-aaral. And lastly, we have the dysfrasia. When we say dysfrasia naman, it's about their motor or fit or their overall physical or motor skills. Just like yung hand and eye coordination nila. Yung kanilang pagtakbo, pagtalon. Yan yung example ng dysfrasia. Nahirapan po sila sa pag, um, pag mga physical activities. First, the ideomotor. When we say ideomotor, Difficulty in doing step or ta step tasks such as using a fork. Nahirapan silang gumamit ng fork. And they're on how are they going to use fork? And I just know this fresh. When we say adjustional, it's about difficulty in following sequence such as tying the shoes. Paano sila magsisinta sa kanilang sapatas or tie their shoes? So, hindi nila alam kung paano sundin yung pasunod-sunod na yun, Even if binigyan mo sila ng instruction. Next, the oromotor. When you say oromotor, their muscle movement to pronounce words. Hindi na, 
hindi sila hindi makagalaw na maayos hindi nang i-improve yung kanilang muscle walang progress yung kanilang muscle that's why hindi sila makapronounce ng words so kung makapansin nyo may mga bata na hindi talaga na agad-agad na pag-pronounce ng words even if nasa tamang edad na sila and lastly the construction when we say instructional it's about their spatial relations yung buong katawan nila on how their body will function and for the treatment we have also five the extra help about the pro, in, on the professional or the math tutor for your children to learn techniques in academics or in or, or organizational and their study skills second individualized educational program the iep ang kung saan nagsasayang ng goals determine strategies and services for children with learning disorder so meron silang ginagamit na strategy para makuha yung attention ng mga ng kanang bata and next accommodation a test to to know the span or the time on how the student or the child will put his or her interest doon sa, sa bagay. For example, papaupin siya na matanggal, titingnan kung paano, kung gaano siya katagal na upo lang at mag-focus teacher. So, doon po matatas ang isang bata para alam ng, um, ng expert kung paano siya matitreat. Just like, bibigyan siya ng libro or kung anong mababasahin, kung anong gagawin para hindi siya hindi siya mapunta, pumunta kung saan-saan. And then next, the therapy about the motor skills, paano siya magsulat. So, papaunti-untiin yung kanyang kamay para masani siya magsulat. And lastly, the medication to consult the doctor about the proper medication para man, mamanage yung depression and anxiety na pagiging hyperactive or pagiging impulsive ng isang bata. So, for the um, teachers, kailangan ng gumawa ng strategy para makakop up yung students, yung child, sa kung ano man ang um, lesson. And for the, um, the parents naman, dapat mag-guide yung kanyang, ng kanilang mga anak dahil mas kilala yung kanilang mga anak. Mas, mas alam nila kung paano nila um, i-control ang kanilang anak. Of course, dapat with um, the, court, the help of the teacher and the parents, kailangan mag, mag collaborate sila para mas maging effective yung treatment sa batang may learning disability. So, your child's treatment plan will likely involve over time. Kung di naman nagka-progress, kailangan ng additional service. So, together, these inter interventions can improve your child's skills. So, mas improve yung bata and it will help him or her to develop her coping strategies at makapag um, makapag communicate not just inside school but also outside sa kanilang mga kalaro para makasabay sila sa kung ano man ang kayang gawin ng ibang mga bata. So thank you so much everyone for listening. So I hope that you learned something for the teachers or the student or the parents na nakikinig. Sana ay manatutunan po kayo. Thank you for listening and God bless us all.